Here we have yet another narrated speed paint. In this case, the speed paint depicts the creation of a drawing which is called actually, Dancing on the Roof Shooting Holes in the Moon. So, let's see it. Forgive me, I'm trying to type with one hand here on a rubber keyboard. Okay. Uh, you can see here that I've already drawn the desk and begun work on the uh, display at which the character is looking. I don't know why I decided to, to do that first, but uh, here I can see that I'm beginning work on the character. And, uh, oh, I remember now, this is um, a video that got really screwed up. Yeah, this, uh, this looks terrible. I can't even tell what's going on here. My god. Gee whiz, I apologize. There we go. Yeah, you can see... Oh, uh, right back... Yeah! Uh... Stand... On the display right there... Um... That is a screenshot... Of... A user interface which I was using for a while that consists of Xmonad, Xmobar, and Xterm. Or actually, no, that's not Xterm. Xterm is what I use now. That's uh, Suckless's ST. I moved away from ST because, uh, one, uh, Suckless claims that. ST is minimal, but it's goddamn huge. Um, actually, it's not huge, it's just... I'm sure it's all not minimal. But, um... One of the main reasons I moved away is, um... ST is pretty obviously made for... the, uh, the, for the darker themes. And I don't care for those, because... they, uh, they either hurt my eyes or I just can't read the text on them. And my goal is being able to read the text. I don't really care about how it looks as long as I can read it. And I can read it quickly. So right now, the uh, the terminal I'm using is Xterm with uh, just 12 point courier new on it. Or maybe it's 10 point. Doesn't make much of a difference. Point is, I can read it easily and I can distinguish between the characters. Oh, I forgot to mention that's, uh, Cool Keith in the, uh, bottom middle panel of that, uh, screenshot there. I highly recommend listening to his stuff. He's, um, he's one of the most creative, uh, people I've ever heard of. I'm not saying all of his stuff is good, but, uh, it's impressive how much he puts out, and he often does uh, make something which is just great. Here I decided to um, add a more current uh, screenshot. Uh, 
Um, what you see there is uh, the thing on the left is the source code of Mattel, which is a matrix client for which I'm responsible. On the right there is um, something's compiling with uh, Cabal, which is a uh, Haskell build system. And at the top right, damn it. Anyway, at the top right, a um, an element web window is open in Qt browser, which um, was just a bowl of alphabet soup. That's the message that had been sent. And yes, that is a real thing. I made a uh, matrix server just to do that joke. I've, I've made a few of them, but... That one was specifically dedicated to that joke. I deleted it after I made the joke. And the joke wasn't even that funny. Look at how dedicated I am. Here I'm adding a, um, a can that looks kind of like a, 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 um, a Yoohoo can as a reference to the aforementioned Cool Keith. I don't know what's going on there. As I mentioned, the, uh, the video feed here is kind of terrible, but it's all that I have to work with. Here I'm adding, um, some light around the display because, you know, if, if you get some dust on your lens and you photograph a screen, then you're, you're going to see all this halation around the screen. And I wanted to replicate that. I'm not sure that I did a good job with it, though. There I'm just, um... Adding what I will officially say is a koozie, but I've joked about being tape um, around the can. That's mainly just so I didn't have to write Yoohoo on it and uh, actually advertise Yoohoo. I just didn't really want to do that. that oh-so-funny BM joke. Along with hell for the for the monitor. Oh boy, look how clever I am. That might actually be the end of the video. I'm not sure. I'll just assume that it is because, um... The rest of it's been pretty terrible. Luckily, I can show off the finished project just by, um... Using new PDF here. Here we see the finished product. Soup. I will leave uh, deciphering the text on the display as an exercise for the reader. This, um, this stupid warning label. It's one of my favorite jokes that I've included in a drawing. 
Not because I think that um, repairmen are actually like that, which I have no real comment about. I don't really care. Um, all that I care about is that I can repair stuff. But, um, anyway, the text is as follows. Attempting to service this device may result in bodily harm. The device is safe, but our servicemen have pipe wrenches and want your money. I, I don't think that's really laugh out loud funny, but I do think it's pretty funny. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful poster here, which, my god, if anyone bought that for me, I would burn that immediately. So bad. Anyway, hopefully that was at least somewhat enjoyable. This video is now over.